The Pretoria High Court yesterday ruled that the notice of withdrawal which South Africa deposited with the Uni United Nations Secretary General was unconstitutional and invalid. They also stated that the decision by the executive to withdraw from the International Criminal Court was unconstitutional and invalid. And the reasoning behind this was that the executive is not empowered to make that decision. That decision can only be made by parliament. The original al-Bashir arrest warrant case is extremely important and significant in that there was initially an interim order which stated that South Africa was not allowed to allow al-Bashir to leave the country. This was issued on a Sunday. On the Monday, South Africa not only allowed President al-Bashir to leave the country, but they seem to have actually facilitated his departure from the country in direct violation of a high court order of South Africa's domestic courts. That is just an abomination. For a country to not follow an order from its own courts is, is, is it's a show of quite marked disrespect for the rule of law. So it's not just South Africa disrespecting international law, but it's South Africa disrespecting the constitution, its own courts and its own domestic laws, which in a constitutional democracy is not something which is acceptable. It's now up to Parliament to take a fresh decision about whether it remains within the ICC or whether it leaves the ICC. Um, the ANC has the majority in Parliament, so it's very likely that they will still obtain the decision to leave the ICC, but it needs to go through the motions and to obtain this new fresh decision upon which it can act. After it gets the new decision, it can deposit a fresh notice of withdrawal and Parliament can continue with its repeal of the ICC bill domestically.